Hey guys, I'm Zelda Master and welcome back to Hyrule Warriors! This episode we're going to be revisiting all the stages with the respective characters to get the heart pieces and containers we didn't obtain in the Let's Play. So to start things off, we're going to be heading back to Elden Caves and getting the piece of heart for Link. Let's get started! To get the piece of heart with Link, you must make your way to the Crystal Caves once it opens and claim it. It's really that easy. Um, and once you do so, a treasure chest will appear, and you'll be able to pick up the piece of heart. Next up, we're going to be revisiting Feron Woods, where we're going to be playing as Impa for this one and obtaining her piece of heart. To get Impa's piece of heart, you must make your way to the North Square and uh, defeat all of the enemies and claim it as well. Once you do that, the treasure chest will appear and you'll be able to pick up your piece of heart. And now it's the Valley of Seers. This time we're going to be entering it with Sheik. So here we go. To get it, you must make your way to the Ruined Summit, defeat all of the enemies, claim this area. And once you kill the Keep Boss, a treasure chest will appear. So pretty much just like all the previous ones, it's that easy. And ignore Manhandelite. Let him do his own thing. We must first get the piece of heart. Now it's time for Death Mountain. We're going to be re-entering the stage with Sheik, and we're also going to be picking up the Gold Skulltula that is for anyone once you kill a thousand enemies. The reason why I didn't get it in the Let's Play is because we didn't have the Hookshot item, and now that we have it, we can get it with ease. So the heart container is pretty easy to find. It's just south of the Eastern Boulder Keep. Just go ahead and blow up this rock, and you'll find the chest. Now once you kill 8,000 enemies, the gold skull flow will appear, so make your way all the way up here and you'll find it just chilling here. Next up is Lake Hylia with Cheek as well, so let's go ahead and enter it. For this piece of heart, you just want to go ahead and claim the East Room, and uh, once you do that, the chest will appear.
Alright, now it's time to enter Twilight Field with Lana. We've done it with Lana in the Let's Play, but we didn't have the hookshot to pick up the piece of heart. So now that we are back here, we'll be able to get it. So just north of where you save Agatha, you'll find a ledge that you can hook onto with your hookshot and you'll find the chest that contains the heart container. Next step is the Palace of Twilight with Lana. Obtaining the piece of heart is as simple as claiming the West Keep. And uh, yeah, the chest will appear where you can get the piece of heart. Now it's time for the sealed grounds with Link. This one's gonna be fun. Claim the West Keep and the chest containing the piece of heart will appear. You don't have to kill the Turncoat Soldier and if you already have him killed, it's a lot easier. You just wanna kill the Keep Boss once you get the gauge for the West Keep depleted to where he does appear, so yeah. Now it's time for the Temple of the Sacred Sword. For the sake of the Let's Play, I played as Link, and Link had no collectible item besides the Skulltalikas for anyone. So now I have to enter it with both Zelda and Lana. Luckily I got my friend to join along, so we'll be able to get them both, but you're only gonna see Zelda's perspective. Zelda's heart container is really easy to find. It's just under this boulder south of where your base is. Uh, blow up the rock and you'll find the chest containing it. Now for Lana's piece of heart, you're gonna have to claim the North Temple Hall. I highly advise you to play with two characters instead of having to play the level twice, one as each character. So uh, two players makes it a whole lot easier. Just like the Temple of the Sacred Sword, we're gonna have to enter this with two characters. That is Impa and Fi. Impa's heart container is pretty easy to find. It's just under a rock in the center of the stage. To get the piece of heart with Fi, you must claim the South Garden after Ganondorf appears.
Now it's time to take on the Valley of Sears with Midna. It's as easy as claiming the East Ruins room. Now, completing the rest of this with Midna is kind of hard because she's horrible and I had a lot of trouble with it. But once we claim the East Ruins room, uh, the chest containing the piece of heart will appear. Now we have Gerudo Desert with Lana. Getting her piece of heart is just by claiming the central keep with her, and the chest containing it will appear. And now it's time for Ganon's Tower, our final scenario to where we have to collect a heart container with Zelda and a piece of heart for Impa. Zelda's heart container is in the way north of the map. You find a boulder, blow it up, and you'll find the chest containing it. For Impa, you want to claim the West Rock Face Keep. Once you do that, the chest containing the piece of heart will appear. And there you go guys, that about does it for the remaining heart pieces and containers, as well as that one golden skulltula that we had to collect that was remaining from the normal mode of the story. Now we're going to be re-entering all of the stages in hard mode to collect the golden skulltulas that have appeared. They all have certain challenges to them, so it will be really fun, and I can't wait for it. So I'll see you guys then.